All right, so today we're taking a look at the Iskimo 120 millimeter AIO by ID Cooling. Now I got this AIO off Newegg for $90 US. Being a company based in Hong Kong, it took about 10 days to ship, but overall the process didn't take too long considering the current state of international affairs. Now this all-in-one white liquid cooler comes with one 120 millimeter white LED fan rated to run between 700 and 1500 RPMs. The water block comes with a copper cold plate and a rated pump speed of 2100 RPMs. ID Cooling's website indicates the AIO comes with rubber tubing, however the model I bought has plastic rib tubing. Now with the NZXT H200 case with the front panel off and one top exhaust fan. I ran a CPU stress test in Ada 64 Extreme with a Ryzen 3600 running at 3.6 megahertz for 20 minutes and with an ambient room temperature of 33.1 degrees Celsius. The CPU temperature leveled out at 64 degrees and with OBS running to capture the next 20 minutes, it maintained at 67 degrees. Pros and cons. First pro, it's unique. There aren't many, if any, all white AIOs made by high profile manufacturers. The closest one that comes to mind is the Intermax Aquafusion. However, I'm planning to build in the all white Masterbox NR200 case by Cooler Master, and the gloss back finish on the water block wouldn't fit the theme of this build from Intermax. The second pro is quiet. During the stress test, there was no audible whine from the pump and the PWN fan didn't make any noise that appeared to be abnormal. The third pro, the water block design. Now it's cool to see it turn away from the standard cylindrical water block seen on most AIOs and instead have an angular design. The block design seems to mimic the ID cooling logo and I can appreciate the attention to detail. Now for the cons, the white LEDs aren't the brightest that I've seen and there's no option to adjust the brightness. I would have liked to have had that option either in software from ID Cooling or to have onboard control with programs like AuraSync or Polychrome Sync from ASRock. The second con, the plastic tubing. Certain plastic yellows over time and given the hue of the white on the water block, radiator and fan, I expected a more synchronized look but under normal room lighting, the slight color variance of the plastic is mildly noticeable. However, once I got it mounted in the case and sat more than a foot away, it wasn't a glaring problem. Plus, if there's any other LED or RGB lighting in your case, this shouldn't be a problem at all. Last con, the price. At $90 for a 120 millimeter AIO, I would like the option to have RGB lighting. The similar 120 millimeter AIO from Intermax has this option and it's ironically $2 cheaper. It's not much, but cheaper nonetheless. Now for the frills offered by the Icekimo, I would have been more comfortable in the $75 to $80 US range. Would I recommend this? In the event that you need like a purely white 120 millimeter AIO, this one is worth the money. It's not extremely overpriced and the performance is close to making up for the lack of RGB. However, if your aesthetic needs are a bit more flexible, I'd choose a different option, particularly the 120 millimeter Aquafusion from Intermax. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this content, consider leaving a like or even subscribing. And I think, I think that's it. Drop, drop a comment, say something. I'll see y'all in the next one, all right?